everyone, it's Michelle here from 3Ps and I today want to start some Valentine project shares with you guys. Um, Valentine's is about a month away and I haven't started too many projects. I have done a couple but one thing, the first thing I started with was making some cards and I wanted to make some rather, I guess, larger cards, more of the 5 by 7 size and for my mom and my sister and a friend. So. I was trying to figure out, you know, how did I want to do this? And I was kind of want to do something different than the traditional, you know, just fold the cardstock kind of deal and making such a large card. And what I did was use some envelopes. I've got these quite large envelopes that hold five by seven cards. And what I did was I just stuck them together. Um, what you can do is take a Q-tip and like wet just slightly wet the q-tip like this one here and you could just kind of roll it across the, the glue here on the envelope um, but I would stick this in first because if it's sticky when it goes in it doesn't want to behave but basically what you do um, so that was one way you could you know sticky the envelope if you didn't want to have to lick it <laughs> but um, anyway you just stick them into one another like this and kind of like how you would do a flip book, like if you wanted to do um, a, a, like a flip album. I don't know, let me grab another card or another envelope. Real quick. So if you wanted to do the same idea, but you wanted to make it a flip album or flip card, you could just take another envelope and just stick it into the other side. So you've got the one flap here, and then you would take your card or your envelope and stick it in the other side like that and so then you would have um oh, let me do that. Didn't go in. so you'd have this one and you stick this one on this side and so then you would have that page in the middle if you wanted to use some giant envelopes and make like a big valent big book of love is what you could call it <laughs> your valentine book of love and then you would have the page in the middle. But I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to create some big cards. And so what I did is I just stuck the two envelopes together. And like I said, once you get your envelope in there, just slightly damp you a Q-tip like this here. And you can just run it along the border here on the inside and then stick it down. You know, once you stick it in there and just slightly dampen it. Um, and that way you could use the glue from the envelope to help hold this down inside you can also once you get them stuck in you could just put a little glue runner you could put some like um, score tape if you want on the inside I wouldn't use anything super wet like a super wet glue because it'll come through this side right here and then once you have this adhered to each other kind of looks it'll be stuck together kind of like this and then once you have them adhered what I did is I lined the back of the envelopes like this with some a sheet of sticky paper um, that one's got scraps on it the sticky paper that I like to use like this here this is the one that I get at Hobby Lobby it comes with three sheets and it's just I've shown this like a million times I feel like but it's just a sheet of sticky paper and it makes things tacky like a sticker and but if you have a Xyron or something like that you you know could do the same thing. I think you can run these through Xyrons probably. My camera is being wonky. It's going in and out. Like the light is changing. So I apologize if it that looks weird. Um <laughs> well, let me is that better? No, I don't know if that's better. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm having technical difficulties here. Well, I don't know what the lighting is doing. Um anyway, <laughs> so once you have that together, then you line the back of it with the sticky paper. So I just took the sheet like this, you know, peeled it back, then took this and just laid it on the sticky paper and smoothed it out like that. And it's okay if this gets, you know, because it's such a big sheet that you're laying down. It's okay if it gets a little wrinkly. It, that, that part won't matter on such a big project. Because then what I did... As I showed in a video last summer where um, 
covered some envelopes in tissue paper and I kind of took that idea but applied it to making a big card. So then what I did is I peeled back the sticky and I used some tissue paper. As you can see here, this is where I cut this one out. But I took some tissue paper and covered the card with tissue paper. And that's how I got this. So it's just a big tissue paper sticker. So, but what, depending on your tissue paper, you can still slightly see the envelope flap up there. So I would probably use that as my front cover like this. So the lighting, oh my goodness, this lighting. Oh, I don't know why it's messing up. So <laughs> sorry about the technical difficulties today. Um, so I'm going to pause this for just a second and see if I can't fix my camera real fast. Okay, I hope that fixed it and it stays right. I don't know why it keeps doing what it's doing. But anyway, so it, it, you can slightly see the flap inside the tissue paper. Um, these here, like this pink one, it's real pale pink and you can kind of see it. So I really should have made this the front cover, but it'll be fine. And then this purple one here, you know, it also, I left, should have made this the front, but I don't think they're going to notice. I think they're just going to open the cards like this. This is what the inside looks like where it says, I love you and happy Valentine's Day. And I did the same, same sentiments in this one, except it looks like this. I just used some washi tape and some trims some stickers and stuff. So that's how these turned out. And then on the outside, I just used some tags I had actually left over from last year. And then I colored these purple hearts with these stickers like you get at Dollar Tree. And I just peeled this up. And I just glittered the back of it with some purple glitter so that I could get the colors that I wanted on that there. There's these stickers. I think you get like four sheets at Dollar Tree for a dollar. And this outside here, this is one of those um, embroidery floss, cotton embroidery floss flowers that I've showed how I've made. And I just layered that up with these here, these colors. This is the other half. I'm actually going to make another one, but... And I've showed how I've made these. And I just layered it up, put a button in the middle, and just put some washi tape and trims and a tag I had and stuff. And then I stamped the background here. A little piece of paper stuck in there. I stamped the background with this this stamp here, and I just stamped out the X's and O's. And this is the I Love You stamp. And then a Happy Valentine's Day. So that's how the, those turned out. And so basically, uh, and then, so this is like the basic setup. Once you get your card, you got your two envelopes glued together and then I just layered it in the tissue paper. And it kind of gives it a, a textured, wrinkly, I don't know, just something different. Or at least it was different to me. I'm sure somebody else has already done it, but it was different to me and it was fun. <laughs> so, and then just line, you can line the inside of the card you know, with some cardstock, it's five by seven cardstock, and then you can stick this paper down, you know, any way that you like. You can use, you know, score tape like I'm doing here, or you could use maybe red line or more sticky paper or glue runner, you know. I just wouldn't use anything that's like wet because you don't want it to soak through your paper. So I would use a dry glue adhesive of some kind. I'm just going to line this with this score tape here and some stick this down. And that's the basic setup. The nice thing about these cards is they're so big or they're, you know, such a big size that kids could probably help make these. You know, once you get the, the basic setup going, this doesn't want to peel back. There we go. Um, basic card made for them. I mean, it's such a big card. They could you know, put all kinds of embellishments on it, big embellishments, two big stickers. Um, you know, if they want to make a card for a teacher or maybe they want to make a Valentine card for a sibling or for you, <laughs> for mom or grandma or somebody. So, and all right, this tape does not want to peel up. What the heck? Oh, this must be just one of them days can't get this backing to come off and my camera was acting up <laughs> it's kind of funny there we go 
Ugh. Okay, so then you just line up your pair. I already, glued, I already stuck this one down. So like I said, it's five by seven. And then you just, you know, cover up the envelope openings. Or at least this is how I'm doing it, covering this up. And then you would just embellish your, your card. You know, layer it up on the outside with some kind of Valentine embellishments. You could use washi tapes for borders. You could stamp things, heart stickers. There's all kinds of Valentine things out there right now. So I thought this was a fun way to use up some, maybe you've got some tissue paper laying around that you don't really know what to do with. So you could um, label that up, or label that up, cover that up. Uh, so yeah, some five by seven envelopes, or large size envelopes, stuck together, layered up with some paper and tissue paper on the outside. And I think it makes for a pretty, pretty cute looking card there. And this is how I've embellished these. So I really like this little flower embellishment. And these X's and O's I had left from last year. And I had had some scrap rick rack And it would help me actually use up a few things that I had laying around from last year. So, yeah. So I thought these turned out rather nice. I like them. They're a nice thick. It makes a thick card. Like a nice weighted or, or nice... Um, sturdy card here from these envelopes. You could also make smaller ones with smaller envelopes. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Like I said, this was new to me. I'm fairly sure that this has been done a million times by other crafters, but this was my take on it and wanted to try and do something a little bit different or what I thought was different by layering it up with some tissue paper. Uh, it's your cover on the outside. It's like almost like a book cover, like you're covering a book you know, like a school book, but you're making a card. So yeah. So thanks so much for watching today. I hope this gave you some creative ideas and tips some things that you can do to create some fun and pretty large whimsical looking Valentine cards. So thanks everyone for watching and y'all have a great day.